Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and thank you for finding this channel. Today we're gonna to talk about collapsing trachea. Collapsing trachea is incredibly common in doggies, especially small dogs or toy breed dogs. In this video, guys, I'm gonna explain what collapsing trachea is, what your veterinarian will do to help treat it. Collapsing trachea is just that, when the trachea collapses. The trachea is made up of cartilage rings and there is a band of connective tissue at the top of it. Now guys, when a doggy breathes hard and there's a lot of turbulence or maybe there's pressure on the trachea from a collar, physical or mechanical, anything like that can cause the trachea to want to compress or to collapse. Now, this may mean the trachea like our windpipe, just like me and you, the trachea. It also may mean some of the airways in the chest, some of the bigger airways can collapse as well. So collapsing trachea can affect multiple different areas in the doggy, and it happens a lot of times during excitement, breathing hard, high turbulent airflow, or mechanical pressure against the neck. When that happens, guys, the doggy's gonna cough. And they're gonna cough a lot sometimes. Sometimes they'll get like a chain of coughs of the dog trying to clear their airway so they can breathe better. Collapsing trachea is one of those diseases that is usually treated medically. Yes, medically, guys. You've probably seen some of my older videos. I'll talk about surgery. There is a surgical option. You can go see a specialist, talk to them. But surgical options do carry a lot of complications. So just owner beware regarding surgery. Medical options, guys, are the most common thing that a veterinarian does. And I'm going to go over those right now. Number one, a veterinarian will most likely prescribe a steroid or a cough suppressant of some sort. Medications like Temeril P and prednisone, those are steroids with antihistamines in some cases, and those can reduce inflammation. When you think of collapsing trachea, there's a lot of inflammation, guys, when that trachea collapses or compresses on itself. Giving a steroid can greatly reduce the inflammation in the airways and help the airways to recover. Steroids may be given long term, they may be given at high doses and reducing down to lower doses. Talk to your veterinarian and it's all about symptomatic improvement because unfortunately guys, we're not going to have a cure here. We're looking to make the doggy's life better, healthier, and longer. Now, number two, guys, is going to be antibiotics. Antibiotics is definitely more of a questionable call. The way I consider it, and a lot of people consider it, is a collapsing trachea dog has an abnormal airway. And if we have chronic compression, we have chronic inflammation, we are more likely to have secondary infection, secondary upper respiratory problems. So antibiotics like doxycycline and clavamox may be appropriate in some cases. Now, the other thing to consider would be hydrocodone. Hydrocodone is a cough suppressant. The logic here, guys, bear with me. The logic here is if we relax the doggy and suppress the cough. Now, with hydrocodone, the doggy will get tired. We will be a little more tired, and that's okay for the time being. But if the trachea can relax and recover, and if we're not getting worked up, barking at the mailman, just having a lot of turbulent airflow, if we relax, less compression of the trachea, allow the trachea to recover, and then you know what, guys? After that, the trachea may be healthier, so then we can come off of it, and we should come off of it, and that will allow us to live a life without the medicine for a while, or for an extended period of time, depending on how well the doggy's trachea recovers during that hydrocodone treatment. Collapsing trachea, guys, is usually a long-term thing. You're gonna be managing this long-term. These medicines can be incredibly helpful, Surgical options are out there. They put a coil or a mesh in the trachea to open it up. As I said earlier, guys, a lot of times you don't always have just an upper airway issue, but you have a lower airway issue too. Veterinarians can diagnose it to some degree with an x-ray, but because collapsing trachea is more of a, a transient thing where it comes and goes and it's based on breathing patterns, it can be hard to pick up. You may have a doggy who is breathing out beautifully and you have a really open trachea, that does not mean your dog does not have collapsing trachea. It means at that moment in time, the trachea is open. Fluoroscopy is the best option, but most veterinarians don't have that in general practice. So for that reason, collapsing trachea is usually diagnosed on breed or signalment, history, and physical exam, palpating the trachea, and developing a diagnosis based on that. X-rays are still very appropriate to rule out lower airway problems and upper airway problems, but to confirm collapsing trachea 100% with an x-ray is debatable, but it can help, and you can catch it sometimes with an x-ray. 
As always guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. If this content has been helpful, I really appreciate it. Please go ahead and comment below. That'd be super. You guys take care. Bye.